Hey guys and welcome to another Spectrum video where we're gonna have a look at yet another arcade conversion and uh, this time it's Salamander which is uh, kind of the sequel to uh, Nemesis and I got to say I absolutely love the artwork for the cover and the ads looks great and the Spectrum version was possibly done by a developer called Cyclone because they did handle some of Konami's Spectrum conversions before. But the coder was Andrew Glaster who also worked on Jailbreak and the graphics artist was Stuart Rucroft who also worked on Jailbreak and also Nemesis on the Spectrum. And I believe that Jackal was the last game that Konami published themselves on the Spectrum. But apparently they also published this one in 87 and uh, weirdly enough later that year it was also published by Ocean's Imagine label. So not entirely sure how that works, but I'm pretty sure this was the last game that Konami published themselves for the Spectrum at least. And the arcade original was of course uh, developed and published by Konami in uh, 1986 as a sequel or a spin-off of uh, Gradius or Nemesis. And the game was also known as Life Force in the US. And I'm not entirely sure who designed the game uh, over at Konami. I know that one of the programmers was Hiroyasu Machiguchi, but I'm not entirely sure if he was responsible for the design as well, or maybe it was a collective effort, because apparently they would sometimes do that, collectively design the game. And this game introduced a simplified power-up system, and also, I believe, two-player cooperative gameplay, and also both horizontally and vertically scrolling stages. And the game was quite successful, at least in Japan, where I think it became the top grossing arcade game on the gamers charts between September and October in 1986. And I'm pretty sure it did well in the rest of the world too. Personally, I never came across the arcade version of this game, nor have I played the Spectrum version. So let's fearlessly dive in and hope it's at least better than Nemesis, right? And it starts out pretty promisingly. The loading screen looks really, really nice. Not entirely sure if it's Andrew Glaster who made it, but yeah, it looks great. And we get some farty, specky music, which kind of sounds a bit like it did in Nemesis, only I suppose a bit better. And we're gonna go with Kempston Joystick. And uh, I have been playing this for a little bit already, and I gotta say, it does play better than... Um, Nemesis, I must say, it's faster. It's also quite tricky. Uh, we've got these uh, evil grabby th things, and I... Uh, okay, okay, okay. And we get to start from the beginning every time we die, which, yes, is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and we lose our amazing power-ups, of course. And the firing rate is a little bit low, I must say. Oh, come on, grab. Okay, never mind. We need to shoot the... the There's a special part of those long grabby things that we need to blast. Otherwise, we can't destroy them. And this... Oh, man. I, I'm still moving quite big steps. I think it's still like eight pixel steps every time here. So, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Come to think of it, actually. The ship seems to move a little bit smoother. And I think I missed the power up. Ah... But everything is moving much more snappily, so that is very nice. Gotcha. Let's shoot the whatever this is. Oh come on, don't don't murder me, please. Yeah, it's almost too fast this time, but it's much much faster than before. So that is nice, I suppose. It's still only three lives, and it's, I would say as hard if not maybe even a bit harder than nemesis but already i have to say definitely better with some remaining frustrations and i gotta say the graphics looks a lot better as well oh my god projectiles are still pretty fast but not as fast as they were in uh, nemesis Okay, take that, you evil thing! Oh, it's really hard getting to those, uh, shooting those special bits that you need to destroy to kill the, uh, the grabby things. It feels like you're running out of space really quickly, I must say. It's, uh, everything is maybe a little bit too big. Oh, come on, I'm hitting that silly thing! Ah, come on, get, get it! Ah, oh, gotcha! Finally, moving on here. 
And I do like the new power-up system that is kind of simplified. Really rather appreciate that. Oh, yeah, this increased speed is kind of nice, but it's almost moving too fast now. Maybe they should have slowed it down a little bit. Oh, I get to continue. For some reason, I couldn't control the game there. What the hell is going on here? I mean, this is a bit weird, isn't it? And I can't control the ship for a bit. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I just have to wait. Anyway, we get to start here. That is nice. Of course, I don't have any power-ups. And these projectiles is the bane of my existence. Maybe, maybe I need to go on top instead there. Oh, really? Come on. I am hitting that damn thing. And I'm also liking that the stages seem to be a lot shorter this time, so... You don't have to replay as much. Yeah, that was a smarter way to go, for sure. And, oh, and I don't see that damn projectile. Uh. Now give me a power-up, baby, please. Oh, come on. I don't like the turrets. They are a little bit too random for my liking. Oh, come on. There's too much going on there. I can't see what's like explosions or what's projectiles and what is my projectiles. Okay. Missed that power-up thing. Please. Oh, it's pretty tricky. Yeah, but it's definitely better than Nemesis. Oh, yeah, it's so fast. <laughs> but at least it's pretty smooth and consistently fast. It doesn't slow down as Nemesis did. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do That It's really impossible to avoid the bullets there. Okay, let's go down here instead, because maybe that is a better idea. Oh, we've got these scum. Oh, come on! Uh, oh! Now I get to start here. That is awesome. Oh, we've got the big toothpick things. Jesus! They're pretty sizable, and the game still runs nicely. Impressive! They are maybe a little bit too large for the Spectrum version, and there's just no way I can grab that thing. It's just a trap, right? <laughs> oh, that's not fair! <laughs> okay, let's try and just focus on dodging these things. Uh, it, oh man, this is really tricky. They are way too large, man. Oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, I want that. Please give it to me. Oh, yeah, this is just more luck than anything, but yeah. yeah. This is actually decent amounts of fun, even though, yeah, a bit too hard in a pretty unfair way, at times at least. Oh, stop poking me in the bloody windshield. And look at that. What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> oh, come on, game. Oh, man. Okay, let's try and focus on just getting past this nasty stuff. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I was, wasn't fast enough. Oh, man. No, please stop shooting at me. You swine! Let's get up here and blast these horrific things. These carrots or whatever the hell they are. And what am I supposed to do here? I mean, really? <laughs> Come on! Seems like the enemies aren't as prone to firing when I'm not firing, or maybe that's just a coincidence. I, I don't know. Oh, I hate those flower projectiles! I'm actually getting into this. I'm kind of enjoying myself. This is crazy stuff, I know, but... But yeah, this is... Not bad. Can I... Maybe I should go down and blast this fella, because it's a good idea. And Jesus... Wept. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Didn't have enough bullets there. Oh, again, those flower projectile bastards. I don't like them. <laughs> oh, 
I almost made it. Really rather getting into this. For some reason, it's just, yeah, it's much, much more enjoyable than Nemesis. Oh. But yeah, some more fine tuning I feel is needed, or was needed really. Oh, please, don't. Ah, oh, I mean, if I had some power ups, I could probably get those a little bit more easily. But with the uh, without the power ups, you're doomed against the flowers of evilness. You know what? I think I'm done. I could definitely have played this a bit longer though, because this is quite enjoyable. Much better than Nemesis, and of course I had pretty low expectations, so maybe that adds to uh, my positive experience here. But yeah, let's see what some other people thought about this one, shall we? Crash of Water the Game, an overall of uh, 79%, and one of the reviewers wrote, As shoot em ups go, Salamander is infuriating, but is still very good. The gameplay is fast, exciting and addictive, and offers plenty of challenge. And one of the other reviewers were a bit less enthusiastic. The brilliant loading screen is followed by a game that's not so hot. It's incredibly frustrating having to go all the way back to the beginning of a level when you die, and some players might find this a little too much. Yeah, I have to agree, it's still rather frustrating being sent back, but it's much better than Nemesis, because there you got sent much further back. But yeah, the high difficulty in Salamander, and the fact that you lose all your power-ups and get sent back, really makes this a little bit too difficult, I must say. Sinclair User gave the game 8 out of 10, and they wrote, a well-programmed conversion that should go down a treat with all shoot 'em up fans. Few levels an okayish sound. If you're a Salamander in the arcades fan, then you should be well pleased with Salamander on the Spectrum. If not, you'll just like it because it's a good shoot away. So a definite improvement over Nemesis and a pretty enjoyable game that should have been just a little bit easier because without power-ups, yep, life is a little bit too hard. Even back in the day and I think I would have been quite frustrated about that and that would probably have made me stop playing the game after a bit. And uh, with that I'm just going to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and as always, hope to catch you next video. Cheers! Thank <laughs> you.